Welcome back to Go for Football with Jerry Kill. I'm Natalie Nias. Saturday's win over Penn State was a tale of two halves. The offense posted 24 points in the first half, and then the second half was all about Golden Gopher defense, holding the Nittany Lions scoreless even when they got into the red zone. To give us an inside look at the defensive standouts, Mike Max is in the Hall of Fame room with head coach Jerry Kill. Thanks, Natalie. It's Wisconsin in two weeks, but we talked a lot about the offense in the first segment. Let's talk more about the defense. We saw it in the film room a little bit. You, you had them out of sorts to an extent. They didn't, weren't able to get into any real rhythm that they wanted to get into. Is that schematics? Is that just fundamental football being executed? Well, I think that, you know, scheme-wise, we want to make sure we didn't give Robinson, you know, the, the deep ball and he just goes catch it, and that's what they've hurt people on. Uh, so we had, you know, we, we tried to stay over the top of him as much as we possibly could, and I uh, thought we did a good job of that. And uh, Eric Murray, you know, Brock Vereen, uh, Derek Wells, we had some guys that stepped up and made some good plays. We had an interference call or two uh, because we didn't turn our head, but, uh, you know, we played well in the secondary. And then, you know, they, they had some times they ran a the ball, but it was kind of bend, don't break, so to speak. And then we uh, made them miss a few turns, and, and I thought we kept their quarterback off balance because he's a pretty effective kid and gave him some different looks. So, uh, you know, we did what we needed. And then, you know, we, we're getting better at forgetting the last play and moving on to the next one. And we is, is that as important as anything? Oh, there, there's no doubt. And, and uh, you know, and, and uh, being able, as Coach says, you got to defend every inch. Coach Clays does. And, you know, we, they get down there and then they, the snap fumbles and we get the ball. So Emmanuel makes the play. Yeah, yeah, and sometimes you drop snap and get the ball back. So. We, we made some plays in critical times, and you know uh, that's what you have to do to be successful. And field position was a big part of it. We kept them on the long field, and um, you know anytime you can do that with uh, the kicker and the punter is a part of defense. Yep. And uh, they did a good job also on the defensive side. Yeah, it's 24 10 to half, and I think a lot of us projected it to be kind of a shootout, a 35-34 kind of thing or something like that, and nobody scored in the second half. Yeah, and uh, you know it, it was one of those things where offensively we moved the ball. And we got in that area around the 35, 40, and we, you know, missed a couple chances to get a third down conversion, um, you know, and and just never got close enough to field goal because of the wind. And uh, you know, they had chances to move the ball, and they, you know, they couldn't capitalize. So it was like a, uh, it became kind of a defensive struggle, and don't turn the football over, and uh, work that clock. And we worked the clock pretty good. I, can't think off the top of my head, but I think we doubled them in possession time or close to yep. it. So, I mean, that's the key to our success. You know, don't turn over the ball, handle possession time, shorten the game, and that's what we try to do. You know, this week, obviously, a different kind of week because you have the bye week, second bye week. How, how do you handle that for me? I know you're going to practice three days, but uh, what do you try to get out of this? Well, the biggest thing is get guys healed up. There, I mean, that's the key, and we'll spend time in the weight room and uh, you know through the week but it would be you know hour and 15 short crisp you know try to keep you know keep the timing and it gives us some extra days we recruiting uh, but also preparation try to get ahead on Wisconsin because they are so good you know it gives us some chance to work on some of the uh, things that they do because they're they're a little bit unique in uh, the way they run the ball and play action pass and defensively with the 50 front so uh, and they're 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 really good. So we've got to do a good job of trying to get ahead uh, in the off week uh, on the preparation. That will do it for this week's edition of Gopher Football with Jerry Kill. Be sure to check out GopherSports.com for updates all week long on your Golden Gophers. For Mike Max and Coach Kill, I'm Natalie Nias. Thanks for joining us right here on Gopher Football with Jerry Kill.